Starting screen, did we? We just went straight to the, straight to the dead by daylight. Awesome. Everything looks like it's working good. Let's uh, let's do this thing. Get rid of our fun build. Go back to our uh, trying to win build. <laughs> oh goodness! I just woke up. More. <laughs> oh, I had fun in Diablo 2 last night. I think I made it all the way to 31. Um, I think I'm going to still kill Diablo until I hit about 33 and then go to Act 5. I just enjoy what it feels like to be over leveled for a little while. To be honest, I kind of want to buy a. Uh, I can't remember if it's called a Guardian Angel or a Tyrion's Might. But I like the idea of having 95 on the so I'm going to be honest with you. I like that idea. Although it's probably overkill. <sighs> but golly, that seems cool to me. And it, it's not, because the best players who play the game have said it's not. So, I know it's just a personal feeling. Maybe get some items that have absorb on it, and then when you're hit by that particular element, not only does it not damage you, but it heals you instead. That's <clears throat> that would be awesome. Oh yeah, we gotta do our thing. So. Just waking up in the morning, gotta thank God. I don't know, but the day seems kind of odd. No barking from the dog. No fog. Mama cooked the breakfast with no cloth. Eh. <laughs> I can't believe today was a good day. Let's go. Another day on the grind. It's just another day to me. I know the number might look special, but literally it's just another day I'm trying to trying to make it through another 10 games. That's all I'm trying to do. Not only was I playing Diablo 2 last night, I was also playing Dead by Daylight at the same time. <laughs> That's when you know you got a problem. You playing two games at the same time. I think I went from level 26 to level 31. And boy, can you tell a difference. The levels make a humongous difference against Diablo. <clears throat> <sighs> Let's go to the movie. Let's do it. Game number one. Ladies and gentlemen, start your engines. Hello. Is it me you're looking for? <laughs> I used to like that line on Richie. I used to like that line on Richie video. And then I got older and I was like, man, this is kind of creepy. I mean, who you got like this disabled person who doesn't have one of their senses? <laughs> and this dude's apparently stalking her and stuff. It's kind of a... Uh, hmm kind of creepy and the funny part of it is in the music video she makes a clay model of his face it doesn't look anything like him <laughs> but like who's this who's the audience of this song you know what I'm saying it can't be blind women <laughs> because they can't see the music video right <laughs> like it's so confusing 
It's so confusing. <clears throat> Let's go. Yeah, I anticipate getting beat any day now because I had two games yesterday that were so close. So close. You just you just can't streak in Dead by Daylight forever. It's just it's not possible. Hell Rose. Every rose has its thorn. Sings a sad, sad song. Every rose has its thorn. Go for the one that's better at hiding. That's my, uh, that's my philosophy. X the love and I like fighting, I like fighting, it's exciting. I like fighting bears, what is it? Next to poetry and prose, I like stomping on some toes. Next to love and I like fighting bears. Kick this. Kick it. Wait for this girl to get saved. See if we got Sparkies coming off this. Oh, it completely regressed it. So we Let's go, ladies. Stop what you're doing, because I'm about to ruin the style of the things that you need to. Man, part of time is so good right now. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm good? Like, actually good. amazing thing was yesterday is we played 20 games in a row without a single Kobe. Uh, there's three escape chances per survivor, four survivors a game, that's 12. 12 times 10 is 100, times 2 is 200. There should have been 8 to 10 Kobe's yesterday and there wasn't. That's the most, that's the most interesting thing. Hey, how you doing, Immortal Ops? We got us a basement party going on right here. I was just talking about how lucky we got yesterday without having a Kobe. So 
lucky to play 20 games in a row without a Kobe. I normally get six to eight a day. I better enjoy that day and remember it forever because it ain't gonna happen again. This was game number 391. 391. We hit him up with the GG's and we moved right along. Let's go. How you doing today, Immortal Ops? What's going on in your life? What games are you playing? <laughs> this is game 392. <sighs> Let's do it. I am excited. Doing all right, GTA at the moment, but for a four day weekend, all right. Grand Theft Auto, perhaps? Uh, I keep seeing this uh, advertisement for this uh, rap song with like Snoop Dogg and Dr. Dre. And uh, <laughs> I don't know what it is about the song, but I kind of like it. Uh, I'm going to have to read the lyrics. You don't really know if you like a song or not until you actually understand it. <laughs> uh, let's go. Yeah, the last GTA I played was uh, Vice City. The one that's like a remake of Scarface. Really like that one a lot. But I can understand why people like it. Um, it's a role-playing game. You get to uh, live a larger-than-life experience. It's a little bit more realistic than most games. I get it. Oh man, I just woke up. I played 50 games of Dead by Daylight yesterday. That's when you know you got a problem. That's not even the most games I've ever played in a day. <laughs> I think I've played like 65 to 75 games in a single day before. Like, <sighs> it's an incredible it's an incredible amount let's sing a song we got a little bit of a cue time here let's sing a song tell me have you seen her do 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 Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, yes. Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so. Jesus loves me, loves me still, though I am very weak and ill. From his shining throne on high, comes to watch me where I lie. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes. Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so. Gotta love that song. Gotta love Jesus. Jesus was the greatest. Well, God's the greatest. God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. Mm. A lot of people don't know this. So I'm going to say it because it's one of my favorite things to talk about. Did you know the Holy Spirit has a humongous part in the Bible, but most Christians don't realize it, and the Holy Spirit even talks three times in the Bible? It's a true story. It's a true story. <clears throat> do, 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 
because I'm flagrant. That's almost a true story. <laughs> Except for the whole <laughs> federal agents hating me for being flagrant part. Except for that part right there, true story. <laughs> it's, it's more like it's based on a true story, you know what I'm saying? generators exploding. That means that we got another team right here that's just not doing gems. It's a uh, full strategy, Cotton. Let's see how that plays out for you. And she's gone. find out where the guy is we'll be uh we'll be set survivor so well but you do you do let's go just trying to survive another 10 <laughs> just 
trying to make it. I think it would have lived by another 24. I gotta go cause it got me a drop top and when it hit the switch. It's when the praying don't stop. Yeah, this team was not interested in generators at all. One of them had a key, and so my guess is maybe they don't know how keys work now. I have no other explanation. Hey, it's our first Kobe in two days. Kobe, Kobe, Kobe. We gotta respect Kobe, guys. There can be only one Kobe Bryant. Any minute, any minute, any mode, if they Kobe, let him go. No, thank you. I don't think I will. <laughs> All about playing for you, my guy. Keys are just these days. Yeah, yeah, they, uh, they're definitely suboptimal. That's the, uh, that's the truth. GG's. That was an interesting game. <laughs> And by, by interesting, I mean exactly the kind of game I want. <laughs> Moving on to game 393. Yeah, I think I was still doing family time when you started your stream last night. I felt it. I was like, mm -hmm. oh, I missed the beginning of the stream. It feels bad, man. Oh. I gotta wake up. Because next week is going to be a culture shock. We had two weeks off. She starts school next week. And guess who teaches her? Well, one day a week, the official school helps. But the other four days, I'm expected to do the teaching. <sighs> I'm going to have to find the strengths to do my job acceptably. <sighs> I'll do my best. Yeah, Pinhead is brutal, really. Had two of the longest chases and still 3K'd with Hatch. Wow. You were homeschooled in the co-op too? Awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Listen, when we signed up for this, I was like, wait a second. You guys don't do the majority of the teaching? Do you know me? <laughs> Do you know me? <sighs> but there's a big change coming to the stream next week because the very first thing me and my daughter are going to do starting Tuesday is we're going to do one hour of Bible time and we're going to do that five days a week and we're going to get through the whole Bible again this year. That's my uh, New Year's resolution for this year is uh, me and her have made it through the Bible before. I want us to get through it again. <sighs> so the first hour of the stream is just going to be just chatting. And I'm just going to be with me and my daughter. We're going to be discussing what we read. And then, as she moves on to math, I will move on to Dead by Daylight. Um, I actually used to stream like that a year ago. So this is something I've done before. And uh, I don't think there's anything better I could do with my life. I'm going to be honest with you. Talking with my daughter about the Bible is the, the single most rewarding thing that I've ever done. <sighs> to be fair, uh, they do a lot of the org work, so that's a huge headache that you don't... Yeah, yeah. And the first part of the Bible is a fun read. <laughs> the recollection is, is, is nothing compared to the reality, no doubt. Yeah, when I was a kid, and even as an adult, I'm certainly attracted to the uh, Old Testament because the Old Testament is how people are in reality, right now, today. That's people. Um, the New Testament is how people should be, right? <laughs> and it's more philosophical, right? I mean, you got the first couple of books which are super action-packed, but then you hit... Romans, Corinthians, Galatians, Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
then it's very philosophical from that point. Uh, let's go. But me and her, we've already read it all together, and we even read some of the uh, Apocrypha, some of the Deuterocanicals, um, the important ones. The ones I feel like have a bearing on the day. Let's go. Let's do it. I know she's about to become a teenager, so I have no idea how that's going to impact uh, our lives. I'm just going to have to pray for patience and do my best. Yeah, the prophets are super interesting. Um, I, I personally like Jeremiah. That's one of my favorite prophets. They're super interesting. The prophets are like these men who God picks to be his mouthpiece, but they're super unpopular in Jerusalem. I mean, imagine living your whole life with everybody hating you just about. That's what it was like to be a prophet. So, it was no surprise to Jesus that they treated him exactly the way that they treated the prophets. Like, lots of prophets had very hard lives. Let's go. <sighs> Game 393. <clears throat> I like Jeremiah because he's a lot like me. Uh, say things we shouldn't. <laughs> this is an extremely survivor side. Yay! Huzzah! Oh, for you were jolly good fellers, you were jolly good fellers. <laughs> Jolly good survivors, which nobody can deny. Come here, little buddy, I need you. I need you like a hog knee slop. So, one of my weaknesses with this build is that exact thing that just happened. I really don't have a good answer for. Uh, Flashlights. I just have to be on my toes. There wasn't a scourge hook close enough. Go ahead and throw in the towel if you want to. I wasn't ready to let me live anyway. I'm being completely honest about it. That's my second Kobe already. You guys, in your way. <laughs> just keeping it 100. Maybe she's mad because she couldn't fight. Like, survivors really get invested in flash. Wow. Borrowed time is such trash. Time is such trash. Yeah, yeah, you're just gonna stand there. I think if you unhook a fellow survivor, it should uh, get rid of borrowed time. That's just my, that's just my opinion. You got your use out of borrowed time. Anything more than that's a little redundant. <laughs> I think she thinks I have Lightborn, but I don't. Oh no! You DC! Whatever am I gonna do? Well, 
that was the perfect game. <laughs> like, it felt like every team I faced yesterday was a really good team, but today so far has been great. Thank you. I, I gladly accept it. I gladly accept it. Was it Nehemiah that rebuilt the walls and had a tent? You know, I always get them mixed up. There's Ezra and Nehemiah, and one of them did the wall, right? And one of them helped with the temple. I, I get them mixed up. I'll be honest with you. I am not an Old Testament specialist by any means. People who read the Bible think the whole people as a group live like the Bible, but the Bible stories were the minority. People of Israel are still the secular people today, and that's, that's absolutely true. The absolute, the absolute truth. People are people. And just like today, they like to follow politicians, they like to follow politicians back then. And they had their own little interest groups, and humanity has not changed at all. Like, <sighs> it's like that time that uh, one of the prophets was running, and God said, what are you doing? And he said, there ain't no righteous people. He said, turn around and go back. There's like 7,000 righteous people in Jerusalem right now who haven't bent the knee. Something like that. Something along those lines. Um, but the Lord who sees all in secret knows. He knows who's you know, trying their absolute best. It's hard. It's hard to uh, not want to be, you know, what everybody pressures you to be. Oh, did you? Ancient Middle Eastern history and culture. That's fascinating. I uh, barely passed high school. <laughs> The dead giveaway was uh, Moses when he was leading the people, and when the cloud left, they instantly built a statue to Bill, like, bruh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And not only they, but the priesthood helped in that too, and it's like God said, this is a stiff-necked people. Moses, let me kill him, and I'll just let the line come through you. Now, to anybody else in the world except Moses... That probably would have been a really good proposition. But Moses was better than most other people. And he was like, no, Lord, please don't do that. See, Moses is this thing called meek, which I wish I was. <sighs> which is why God talked to him like a friend, you know? Moses was like a friend of God, literally. It's so interesting. Yeah, Bell was the first, to my knowledge, Bell was the first false god, Bell and Astaroth. So what you had, you had King Nimrod and his wife Semiramis and their child Tammuz. And we see that same pattern repeated historically throughout several different civilizations. Because you got Osiris and Isis and all that. Um... But basically, Baal is Nimrod, and Astaroth is uh, Semiramis. And Tammuz is actually a name of a month in the Hebrew calendar. So, that's how big of an impact the false gods had in Israel. They dealt with that their entire history. My understanding of Baal is Baal is like a warrior symbol that represents power and strength. And Astroth is a, a symbol of sexuality and fertility. And the money one is Molech, I believe. Prosperity and money. I think there's a lot of Molech worship by the elite in America today. And I ain't even joking. I literally mean... I believe they worship Molech. 
like when I say that, I mean they know the name and they worship Molek. Like, hey, what we got here? What do we got here? Throw that pallet, girl. Teach me a lesson. Not that lesson. You're gonna need to pick a different lesson because I know that one. <laughs> oh, do they? I didn't know that. I do have a cousin who converted to Catholicism, but only out of peer pressure, not because he actually was interested. He married into it, kind of. So I really don't know that much about Catholicism. My understanding is it's basically like a whole bunch of different denominations all rolled into one, kind of, but forgive me if I'm not being accurate. And they still managed to get a generator done with all that pressure. Nothing could be done about that. But with one survivor on the ground and one on the hook, we're in a really good spot. Why are you touching my stuff? Why are you touching my stuff, bro? Yeah, I love learning about history, so... You got anything you want to share? I'm more than willing to listen. More than willing to listen and learn. Scratch marks right here. That Leon's a sneaky one, isn't it? You're a quick one. Yeah, Nimrod was a, a terrible person. The Bible said he opposed God face to face. Like, wow. That is, uh, that's interesting. I'm sure that he regrets that decision now. <laughs> but now it's too late. Oh, what book's that? Oh, the Bible, yeah. Something like Coney Greek, Arabic, and uh, Hebrew. I don't even know if we've completely unraveled Coney Greek yet. I seem to remember that for most of my life I was told there was no difference between Kony and regular Greek. And then all of a sudden they admitted there was a difference because they found some fragments that helped them understand Kony a little bit better. This is my thought process on that. God is smart enough to know that we're dumb. <laughs> and he gave us just enough information to, to do what we're supposed to do. <laughs> That's my thought process. Like, yeah. Go ahead. We've already had two cookies. Man, this this dude is flying by so far. Cause isn't this game number three ninety four already? Let's see, what was our first game of the day? I don't remember. My memory is that bad. What maps have I played today? We had a backward swamp. Golly, I don't remember. I'll just go back and look later. 
Well, that was game number 394. GG's. Moving on to game number 395. <sighs> I have the worst memory. I really do. Yeah, we had a backwater swamp, a midwitch, a corn map, and then we had that map, which is an auto haven. So that was four games. We're moving on to game 395. Yeah, the Bible specifically says that it was written to be understood by slaves. So, that's why it doesn't bother me too much when people tell me they have secret information or, or something like that. Because if it was important, then it's simple enough for even me to understand. The Bible was written for the layperson, which is why they changed it to a pulpit so that the layperson couldn't read it. Um, but... We can read it, and it doesn't, it doesn't seem overly complex until I get into the Paul part of the Bible. Um, the Jesus part I understand, and it scares me. The Paul part is really complicated. He says things in the, the most well-educated philosophical language possible which is very hard for me to, to grasp. And, uh, I don't know. That's just how I feel about it. I really like the Old Testament a lot. Um, I'm thankful for the New Testament, don't get me wrong. I just, I love Proverbs. I often think of Proverbs during the day. Like while we were talking, I was thinking about the proverb, a wise person keeps his mouth shut in times of trouble. Um, like right now, we have this cancel culture going on. It's a time of trouble. I may disagree with a lot of the stuff being said, but I should keep my mouth shut and not express that opinion openly. Um, that's my belief. I wonder if we're missing a huge piece of the Paul part that Western theology has ran with and created their own flavor. The crazy thing is a lot of the verbs were, a lot of the verses were by King Solomon. Yeah, yeah. Um, so the Paul thing is, I've, I've, there's some people I follow who are far more educated than me. And I've heard the argument put forth before that Paul is a construct of Roman Christianity and was added. But I, I don't agree with that. I, I disliked Paul for most of my life, and I was suspicious of Paul for most of my life. But after... 20 years of intense study, I finally arrived that I'm making things way more complicated than they need to be. And I've learned to accept things that I don't understand. Because I don't understand all of Paul. My eyes glaze over when you start reading Romans. I'm not even joking. Romans has always been my uh, my hardest book in the Bible. Yeah, King Solomon, what's this tell you? The wisest man who ever lived turned away from God in his old age. What's that tell you? Like, that's, uh, Lord, let me be stupid, but go to heaven. <laughs> like, I'm not even joking. Let me be a, a simple layperson, Lord, but let me go to heaven, and I will be happy. Like, <sighs> but God told the kings, you need to do these things. You need to write your own copy of the scriptures they had, which would take you about six months with the scribes. 
You need to not collect money, not collect horses, and don't do a census. And all the kings love the... I don't know for a fact that any of the kings ever did what God asked, except for maybe a, a handful. There was one really good king, the one who found the scriptures hidden away. And he had a sad ending because he got involved in business that wasn't his business. God said don't get involved in this business with Egypt, and he did it, and he got killed by a straight arrow. Like... That's why I'm thankful for Jesus, because... If the Bible has taught me anything, it's that we are just not going to meet God's expectation. Like, I, I hate to say the word incapable, because I do believe we're capable because Jesus did it, but I don't think anybody else is going to. Hey, borrowed time, look at that. What we got here, guys? We got some borrowed time going on. I love it. Maybe she'll have decisive strike. That would be the perfect combination. I'm gonna find out. Yeah, you got me. You got me, guys. You got me. Now I'll teach you a lesson. You're so good with that little flashlight, ain't you? You're so good with that little flashlight, ain't you? So good. So good with that little flashlight. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> I thought I met that dead heart fairly well. Yeah, yeah, take a knee. I you want to throw the game deal? I'm fine with that. <sighs> I actually had an eyelash in my eye. I've been dealing with this entire game. <laughs> yeah, he lacked the common sense, maybe. Maybe. But one thing I could say for sure, uh, a lot of men have been brought down by beautiful women. A lot of men. Including the strongest man who ever lived, the wisest man who ever lived. <sighs> Seems to be a kind of a common theme there. The first man that ever lived. <laughs> I'm not blaming women, I'm just saying people make mistakes. Yeah, I knew you had that So where's the other girl at? Where's the where's the hero at? Well he's gonna have unbreakable, right? So we can't just ignore him. Hey Juice Pickle, how you doing buddy? Uh, Demo's portals are pretty awesome. Um... <laughs> But you'll only ever see me use them if I'm losing. Or if it's a very particular map. You literally just put down a portal, it takes two seconds to put it down. When you travel through a portal, it takes between one and three seconds to travel. They're they're fairly simple. Yeah, they're fairly simple. Yeah, what a flashlight. <clears throat>
But you only see me use them on maps like Haddonfield or. Or if I'm losing the game. Because. That. It's hard to explain. I'm not 100% sure. Let me be honest. I personally feel like putting down portals is a waste until you need to. It's a waste of time. But I could be wrong. I'm not the smartest person that's ever played this game. Um, but they're really simple to use. Just put one down. It takes two seconds. It doesn't matter how close they are, it'll always take at least 1.5 seconds to travel between the portal. See that? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Good job. Good job, ladies and gentlemen. How useful? Depends on your playstyle. See, that's the great thing about Dead by Daylight. We all have a different playstyle. I'm what's known as a chaser. I enjoy beating survivors at looping. So that's my playstyle. But if I was more strategic, like Bronx or Scott Jones, I would strategically place my portals in places and use them that way. But I am super lazy. So, I do occasionally play that way when I feel like I want to change. There's a bunch of different ways to play demo, and it's hard for me to say which one's the best. Um, if you get a 4K with it, it's good enough, is my opinion. Man, what's up? Yeah, what's up? I often wonder what Bathsheba and uh Delilah look like. Sometimes when we think about ancient times we think that people weren't good looking back then. But that's just not the case. Um, yeah, I'm excited for Ring to come to the game. Anything that makes the game better, I'm excited for. VHS, I'm excited for VHS. I'll never play it, but I want it to be very successful. I want everybody to love it. I want it to do very well, because VHS doing well is likely to make this game better too. So, yeah, we're moving on to game number 396. Let's go. Um, the chances are I will only play her to get her adepts and her achievements and then just completely cast her aside <laughs> <clears throat> because I am a demo main. I sincerely doubt she'll be as strong as the bird lady. The trickster and the bird lady are two of the strongest killers that have been released in a long time. And I seriously doubt they're going to release another killer that strong. See, they released the bird lady, and she was strong, but guess what happened? She's the least played brand new killer that they've ever released. So what does that tell the company who only cares about making money? That tells them, why should we bother? Why should we bother making the killer strong? If we make them strong, people won't play them. But that's not actually the whole truth. The whole truth is they ruined the game for most killers. And so those, those people just ain't playing the game. Like, that's the actual truth of what's going on. Yeah. No, I have no idea. There are probably going to be televisions around the map. You'll get a phone call. It'll say, you know, in 70 seconds you're going to die. And then you die in 70 seconds. I don't know. Like, I got no clue. <laughs> I really have a hard time imagining her being cool in Dead by Daylight. Let me be honest. But 
the people who get paid to do these kind of things are probably much more creative than I am. And maybe they'll do a good job. Maybe they'll do a good job. I mean, she's got a teleport, right? I mean, she's got televisions and and wells that she can come out of. I mean, there's got to be some kind of teleport ability there. <clears throat> don't know. I don't know. <sighs> and we got a long wait. I believe she doesn't come out to like March, right? So it's gonna be a while. The funny thing is, I wasn't even trying to get maximum blood points this time when uh, the new killer released, and it still only took me two weeks without trying to have all the perks on all the killers again. So I just really don't care. I'm gonna be honest. I'm just I'm playing the game and having fun, and whatever Dead by Daylight decides to do, I'm gonna roll with the punches. I can't imagine Killer getting any harder than they currently are. <clears throat> that doesn't mean they won't. That just means I can't imagine it. Like, I can't believe they went as far as they did already. Because I personally think they went too far. Mm. But what do I know? Because let me tell you guys, I checked the Steam charts this year compared to last year. And Dead by Daylight's in a better place today than it was a year ago. So it's hard for me to say they're making bad decisions when they're 10,000 players up over last year, right? Um, that's the bottom line, really. Where are they at versus last year? That's the bottom line. <clears throat> But when VHS launches, it is likely to impact um, Dead by Daylight. <clears throat> I don't think it'll be significant because here's my opinion on VHS. Why would a survivor go to play VHS just so they can kill a killer? You know how much work that is? Like, not even joking how much work that is? When they have it made in the shade in Dead by Daylight. They have everything handed to them on a silver platter in this game. Why would you go to a different game and struggle? I don't think it's going to attract survivors. I think that game is only going to attract the killer mains who are unhappy with the way this game is going. Oh, he dumb tech me. Look at him. He dumb tech me, guys. You better hope you're not Aaron because if you are, you're going to die in this game. Aaron is going around bragging he's got an invincible survivor. Send that man to a place where no amount of clapping will bring him back. Yep, yeah, he hit me with the dumb tech. We need to go to the generator in the center because they're both on it. Two people screamed. Two people screamed. I, I know what I saw. Scratch marks right here. I'm not in too much of a hurry, per se. This is, after all, one of my strongest maps. If it was a different map, I'd be a little worried, I suppose. But we got Mr. Dumb Tech right there. Run, son! Ah! 
forgot how to dead hurt, huh? Don't worry, I'll remind you. I don't practice Santeria. I ain't got no crystal ball. I had a million dollars. There's a generator flying underneath me. I certainly hope not. I'm about to find out. I heard something. So in case you guys don't know, the wind condition for this map is to protect one side of the map. That's basically what I'm doing right now. Okay. It's all good to me. Yeah, we got lots of map pressure. We're doing good. Standing tall and looking good. We ought to be in Hollywood. Whoa. Dress it right and cover down. Satisfying about when she screams. I'm gonna be honest with you. It's, uh, fills my heart with that joy, joy feeling. Put one right here. Teleport right here. And we're set, guys. We have all the pressure in the world. Why are you touching my things, huh? Why are you touching my things? Oh, I can't believe I missed it. I'm Mr. Dumb Tech. The one person I wanted to hit. It didn't let me in too for some reason. God, this is so good. This is so good. Look at you. You're just so good. Well, I got something special for you, Mr. Wood. It's right here. You need to find a better role model than Aaron. That's all I gotta say about that. bothering to break my portals if they're not gonna <laughs> make the bare minimum attempt at doing a generator. Why even touch the portal guys? Why even touch it? Yeah this is a uh, I'm undefeated on this map. Yesterday, they were really good. They took me to this map. They made all the right choices, and I still dumped them like an Oreo in some milk. Like, <laughs> this is uh, my best map, and it's not close. Whoa. 
Why are you touching those things? You haven't done a generator. You're so confusing. Do you not understand how to win Dead by Daylight? It's not by breaking my portals, I'll tell you that much. Love Steve Spring. I love Steve. Steve's a great character. So long, farewell. I see you said goodbye. I tell you guys, I beat Noob once. You guys know who Noob is? He's got this famous YouTube channel. Yeah, I went up against his Swift. For some reason, I didn't make the highlight. I'm, I'm, I'm curious why that was. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's because I dunked him like I was Michael Jordan at the All-Star game. That's why. <laughs> There's another content creator I watch. He does uh, the wiggle build with his buddies. Made two killers quit. What? Yeah, you don't get a highlight when you dunk them like an Oreo cookie, right? You don't get a highlight then. <laughs> uh. <sighs> oh, man. And it was so strange. He, he really didn't want to chat at the end of the game. It was so weird. <laughs> Uh, let's go. Yeah, you know, I'm a killer main, so of course I'm a little bit sensitive when certain survivors build their entire career on bullying killers, right? So I'm a little sensitive to those type of topics because when I first started playing this game, you guys gotta remember, for the first year of killer main, I got bullied like nonstop because I'm a very slow learner. And it took a really long time for me to learn what perks I needed to play to not get bullied. Um, yeah, there's a lot of memories that are not particularly happy involving some bully squads. Just like the dude yesterday was speechless. <laughs> I got destroyed. Yeah, that dude has a huge following on Facebook. Um, I was watching him a little bit this morning. He has like a 150 people watching him on Facebook. He's a multi-platform uh, streamer. <sighs> yeah, you got to have map awareness and pathing. That's the absolute truth. Like a lot of times when I'm playing killer, I'll instinctively know where the rest of the survivors are just because I've played the map a thousand times. Um, I'll ask myself, where would I be if I was a good survivor right now? And most of the time I'm right, but not all the time. This is game number 397. Let's go. Now, having said all that, I have nothing but the utmost respect for Aaron because, you know, takes the game, has fun with it, makes great content, you know. I just don't like getting dumb text. <laughs> I didn't know I should be offended by it until I watched the video on it. I was like, what? That's a thing? 
That's supposed to make the killer look bad or something? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I wondered why some survivors did that against me. I'm going to be honest. I was curious. I always just assumed they had live. And they were trying to activate live. But no, they're trying to... It's like a... A different form of a teabag, kind of. <sighs> what ifs? Yeah, they're fun, no doubt. Dowsy? Yeah, I like Dowsy a lot. The Hardcore Survivor Challenge? Yeah. They are... Those videos are from, like, months ago, though. Like... They're still playing some games in the in the Demogorgon map. Listen, let me guarantee you something. If I was playing Friendly Killer and one of their stream names was one of the four survivors I just so happened to notice, I would do my absolute best to beat them. <laughs> Let me just say, even if I was playing Friendly Killer, like, if I thought that I could beat them, I would try my best. Like, it would be. It would be for sure. Um, yeah, Dowsy was an amazing killer main, but he's really interested in it, which is what I said. I think survivors are going to stick with Dead by Daylight because it pampers survivors. And killer mains are all going to be about VHS. That's exactly what I think is going to happen. I'm not going to be about it because there's no scratch marks. Uh, Brother Love doesn't see so well, unfortunately. So I really rely on the trash marks. Hey! Hey, how you doing? How you doing? Let me walk through this pallet. Oh, look, I'm in the pallet. <laughs> That's my version of the dumb tech right there. There you go. Brother Love just invented it. The Brother Love dumb tech. There you go. You're welcome. <laughs> You see, you see the look on their faces when I walk under the pallet there? <laughs> I can't believe he's doing it. <laughs> that would have been even better there. Borrow time. Yeah. That would have been the bee's knees. Second stage hook already? Guys, can you say, well, let's wrap this game up? Let's wrap it up. It's a done deal. It is a done deal. They almost had a generator done in the first couple seconds of the game. And now they almost lost the game already. Sometimes it be like that. I don't think they're going to come save you, buddy. He's dead. GG's. Let's go. <sighs> he can thank his friend for unhooking him without borrowed time. Right in my face. It's a really bad decision. Hey, you did it, guys. Congratulations. But somebody did in fact run back to that generator.
this guy, sound is a thing in Dead by Daylight. No one wants to end up on a poster. Um, but that mentality causes mistakes when they take advantage. VHS won't stick because of the lack of licensing. They'll get a uh, draw casual players. I really don't know. I mean, it's going to be free to play. Dead by Daylight is not free to play. It is very. It's a very expensive game. Um, all things considered. And I think there's a big free to play market out there. That's how League of Legends became um, the biggest game in the world for a while. It's hard to say. It's hard to say. I hope, I hope it has success because this is my thought process. It's a little silly. Yeah, I completely agree. Um, and they're using non-licensed IP, which is good for them financially. And there's plenty of monsters that don't need a license. Um, you got your universal monsters that are 100 years old that you can rip off. And people still love them. They watch their movies all the time. So my hope is that it's successful. But, you know, what do I know? Whatever happens, happens. One thing I do know is those devs actually play their own game. And they're not ranked 20 survivors. They're really good. They're really good at their own game. And I think that makes a huge difference. Well, that was the perfect time for a Kobe. There was no better time. The only reason I hooked him anyway was because he was a Bill. Yeah. He didn't save anybody, so... Kobe it up, Bill. Kobe it up. Wow, Bill already got to pick up my man. My main man, Bill. He's a hero. Good job, Bill. Good job. He's probably not worried because he has Unbreakable. Why didn't this guy go for the pickup? I'm so confused. <laughs> and don't forget that Bill still has Unbreakable, so... It ain't over yet. Now it's over. <laughs> Bill, it's too late now, buddy. It's too late now. I'm right behind you, buddy. I don't give up. You did it. Good job, Bill. This uh, game up now in a pretty little boat. I want there to be competition for Dead by Daylight because it's the only thing that's going to make this game better. They have no incentive whatsoever when they release a strong kill and the sales don't go up. They got no incentive to make killer stronger. Like. You know what that tells them? We need to make another Thing Men skin. And of course it doesn't bother me if all the killers quit the game because that's just faster load times for me. I mean, it's not gonna affect me at all. Good game, guys. Good game, Bill. You did great. Yes, the Call of Duty King. Yeah. I really don't know. I really don't know how DHS is going to do. 
I personally think they made a mistake by letting the streamers have the access to it the way they did, but I don't know. Listen, I'm not a marketing specialist. I just know as a consumer, if I really wanted to play that game, it would have felt bad to watch somebody play it for a month. And then I don't know when I can play it. That's all I know. Because then you know that all the streamers who played the game the whole time, even though they got to start over with everybody else, they're going to be so much more skilled at the game. They're going to have a huge advantage over your average population. And look at the kill look at the people who went to it. It's all killer mains. All my favorite killer mains went to VHS. People who already were good at killer. Yeah. I mean Marth was repping a 95% kill rate at one point in VHS. That's <laughs> That's pretty good, man. That's uh, beyond pretty good. Game 398. Let's sing a song. It's song time. I've been talking so much. Hadn't thought about singing. It's such a good feeling to know you're alive. It's such a happy feeling you're growing inside. And when you wake up ready to say... I think I'll make a snappy new day. It's such a good feeling, a very good feeling, the feeling you know you're alive. It's such a good feeling to know you're in tune. It's such a happy feeling to find you're in bloom. And when you wake up ready to say, I think I'll make a snappy new day. It's such a good feeling, a very good feeling, the feeling you know that we're friends. And I'll be back, Lord willing, when the day is new, and I'll have more Demogorgon content for you. And you'll have things you want to talk about, and I will too. Amen. <laughs> Yeah, we've had a lot of Kobe's today. That's the that's the normal amount of Kobe's. We're uh, we're getting your regular Dead by Daylight experience now. Yesterday was so unusual. I don't know if it was the way I was playing or or what exactly, but it was very different. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go, guys. Give me the business. What is today? Is today Thursday? It is Thursday. Yeah, I remember Ortiz, I think you had something like Hump Day in your uh, title for your stream last night. For those of you who don't know, um, Ortiz is an amazing solo survivor. Um, if you type into Twitch TV, Ortiz T10, um, you will find him. Uh, He's a solo survivor specialist, and he's quite good. He runs people's builds. Um, he never gets angry at the game. So if, if, if that's what attracts you to people who are super calm and uh, can handle any situation, he's definitely your dude. Definitely go check him out. <sighs> I know I enjoy watching him. You do things you want to talk about, and I will too. Ooh, wake up. Wake up, brother love. You got three games left in the stream, buddy. You got three games. Mom's spaghetti. Sometimes you only get one shot. Come on, baby. Ooh, midwitch. We've been getting dealt the... The good ones today, ladies and gentlemen. We've been getting dealt the good buildings. I like it. I love it. 
I want some more of it. Oh, mission recovered, Joe Sergeant. No! I should just let this generator go. I'm going to be honest with you. Well, he says that as I find a survivor. Brilliant, Steve. Brilliant. Gorgeous. You can go your own way. You can go your own way. Man, people on two different gens up here. Dude screamed right beside me, literally. Bruh. 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 What you thinking? I watched a video by Scott Jung last night, and he argued that the way I play is sub <laughs> He said you can't play and win every game doing what I'm currently doing. So what you see me doing right now is I'm actually trying to take Scott's advice and play slightly differently to how I normally play. Um, the difference is I'm trying to apply split pressure which he claims will gain me enough time to win the game. I don't know. All I can do is attempt to do it. All I can do is attempt to do it, right? There's no guarantees here. Other than death and taxes. saying, I know everything and I'm the best at everything. You know, you've got to be receptive to the fact that maybe I'm, I'm actually playing so optimally and I need to make changes, right? So I'm fully willing to admit that Scott Dunn might be right and I might be wrong. So I'm trying to change up just a little bit. That was not the smartest decision you've ever made in your life. <laughs> pop, pop goes the generator, generator. Pop, pop goes the generator, generator. Pop goes the generator, generator goes pop. Let's go, baby. That was a beautiful pop, too. 25%. Put you on this hook. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? I think I'd rather go for this room condition here. You are it, my friend. You are it. And we won the game. Just like that. Scratch mark running up. 
I mean, if I had to guess, I'd say Bill's gonna run straight for that dude, right? Where's the dude at, right here? And I'd be wrong. Ow! Good job, Bill. You evaded me. Good job, Billy. Good job. So what picked her up? Was it the totem? Or is Bill right here? Bill's right here. Well, that makes sense. Yeah, this team wasn't bad. This is just a really good Demogorgon map. So long, farewell, I see you say goodbye. God is so good. God is so good. God is so good. He's so good to me. He cares for me. He cares for me. He cares for me. He's so good to me. God answers prayers. God answers prayers. God answers prayers. He's so good to me. I praise his name. I praise his name. I praise his name. He's so good to me. And you and you and you and all of us. This is game number 399. Let's go. Yes, my heart, Lord. Yes, my heart. I want to see. To see you. 
open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. To see you high and lifted up, shining in the light of your glory. As we sing, holy, 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 I want to see you. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Two games left in the stream. Let's do our best. <clears throat> yeah, Scott John said that my uh, playing technique, the, what I'm doing, he didn't say me specifically. Let me point that out. He's just talking about um, best practices for killers nowadays. And he was giving lots of examples of when the way I play isn't the correct way. And I have to completely agree with him. Um, so I'm trying to make small adjustments to the way I play so that everything works better. Yes, my love. Yes, mommy. What is it, my love? What's that? Yeah, she's in. You gotta go. Uh huh, I'm listening. I wanna talk to mom when you're done. Oh, okay. Uh, well, let's let's talk about that later, okay? Um, I'm gonna be honest. I think I'd rather just buy it. You know what I'm saying? Hello? I know what you're saying, but... I'd like to go see the screen. Hmm. Well, that might be a mommy daughter. Okay. Well, we can do that. Well, let me think about it, okay? Okay. I love you. Love you. Bye. Bye. surprise me. Yeah, that, that's what I was saying. Like, he should definitely be picking them up right now. I don't understand. How are you guys so fast? How are you over here so quick? You guys are flying. Goodness gracious. Give me a second, baby. Give me a second. Need more pressure. So greedy. Didn't want a dead heart. She could have made that easy. <laughs> I 
<laughs> David screams all the way across the map. No! Don't you love the way David sounds? Oh, you are a sweaty little survivor, aren't you? You sure are. And don't forget, she has Dead Heart and Life and DS. Because uh, now she's exhausted. So if she has live and dead hard, that means she can't use dead hard right now. <laughs> yep, that's what it meant. A double exhaustion survivor? How interesting. How interesting. Absolutely fascinating. The things that these muggles do. It's uh, what we call non-magical folk muggles. I'm not worried. I don't care. Let Lori die. We're not in a rush. David wants to come for the save. Come on, David. Come for the save, buddy. She already used her DS. It was DS delicious. in front of me for some reason I don't understand. Supposed to help you win something? I don't get it. But I do know this much. I want David. And David's right here. GG's. Well, this is it. This is a big one. People put a lot of emphasis on the, the games with zeros and fives at the end. So, uh, the next game will be our 400th 4K in a row if we win. Let's go for it. GG. Going for our 400th 4K in a row. Live. 400 live in a row in front of a captive audience. Let's go. I'm excited. 
I am excited. Let's do it. I am so excited and I just can't hide it. I'm about to lose control and I think I like it. So before this game starts, let me start off as I always say, all glory and praise to the Lord God Almighty above. I love you, God. You are the all in all, the everything. You are worthy of all glory and praise. Thank you, God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. This game is ultimately meaningless, but you mean everything. And uh, please bless us and everybody who watches this this particular game. And uh, yeah, no matter what happens, you're always number one in our heart, Lord. Help us, help us endure to the end. Amen. Let's go, baby. Yep, some things in life really, really matter. God is that thing in life that really, really matters. Amen. Do, 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 do. This is kind of a survivor sided map, in my, in my opinion, because of where you spawn at, makes it kind of survivor sided. Typically, a generator will get down before you find a survivor. Typically. Slice my billion, my billy bill. <laughs> Mr. Perfect Bill himself. Uh, yeah, I like, I like the way this game is. <laughs> I like it. I love it. I want to it. Let's go, baby. Maybe this will tell me where to. There's the other survivor. Whoa! Hey! Hey, other survivor, how you doing, buddy? <laughs> well, it could have been a world <laughs> it had potential. It, it had potential. <laughs> it got potential. <laughs> I just don't think there's enough hooks around here to hook all four of them. Let me, let me be honest with you guys. It had potential, but I just don't think there's enough hooks. You need to pick up Bill. And there was a Kobe. 
It had potential and there was a cover. Well, rip, there went that speed run. There went that speed run, buddy. She's dead, so that doesn't matter. We did our best. I mean, you can't stop the Kobe's, right? At least we won the game. At least we won the game. That's something. And we are thankful for it. We are thankful for just winning the game. Amen. The big four zero zero, baby. That's right. Four hundred. 4Ks live in a row. That is the greatest achievement by a killer in the SBMM era of Dead by Day. No other killer has come close. No other killer has come close. <sighs> Praise you, Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Live and in living color. In living color. You can do what you want to do. In living color. In living color. Reverend Lovecraft. It ain't looking good, Reverend Lovecraft. It ain't looking good. GG's, we did it, guys. We did it. GG, that's a YouTube video right there. That's a YouTube video. <sighs> Let's sing a song of praise to the Lord before we end the stream. There is beyond the azure blue a God concealed from human sight. He tinted skies with heavenly hue and framed the world with his great might. There is a God, he is alive, in him we live and we survive. From dust our God created man, he is our God, the great I am. Our God, who sun upon a tree, a life was willing there to give, that he from sin might set men free, and evermore with him could live. There is a God, he is alive, in him we live, and we survive. From dust our God created man, he is our God, the great I am. All right, closing prayer. Much more right in heaven. Please, God, guard, direct us. Please help us to do your will. Please forgive us of our sins. Thank you for sending your son and died upon that cross, fulfilling so many prophecies. He's going to come back and fulfill more, Lord. Help us do the right thing and endure to the end of salvation. Um, help us do your will and live lives that you want us to. Um, please be with the politicians and the world leaders and the police and the armies around the world. We know that you direct the hearts of men and thy will be done, Lord. Um, thank you so much for everything you've done. In Jesus' most precious name we pray. Amen. And that's it. That is it. That is the beautiful, beautiful 400 game in a row. Hallelujah. 404 Ks in a row. I didn't think we'd do it, but we did it. We did it. I didn't think we'd do it, but indeed we did. We did it. And now's the sad time. We have to say goodbye. I hope you guys have a beautiful day. Much love. And peace. We out.